specific outcomes. And then inside of each of those outcomes, it always boils down to just a few things. See, like, there's probably, if I was going to bet, there's probably a handful of accounts that drive most of your revenue. Probably a handful. There's probably a handful of things you have to just do to stay up with the accounts that are meaningful. There's probably only a handful that have a whole lot of weight. See, because success at the end of the day is just a handful of things. You just got to figure out what are those handful of things that I got to just crush so that I can have the outcomes that I want, right? And the clarity. See, because I think, I think that I think success is actually simple. I didn't say easy. I just think it's simple is as long as we can create an awareness field and a clarity around the things that we need to do. See, so like for me in baseball, I knew there was only a handful of things and I had to be now I had to be great at a handful of things in order to compete. Does it make sense? And then it's kind of like when I went to work for a Wall Street firm, there was only a handful of things. So I was a part of sales. I brought money in. So I built a team. So this guy, he's in charge of that bucket. Here's the CFP. Here's the chief financial. Here's the chief financial analyst CFA, like highest pedigree. And I had a CFA, I had a CFP. I had all these people on my team. So when money came in, they all played a role in the money. What was my job? Go get the money. So how did I get the money? How oh, well, Let me see. I got to make a list. I got to make the call. I got to book the appointment. I got to go tell the story. I got to book the account. I got to do those five things. I'm in. I got this. And we went number one. How come? Because I made a bigger list. I made more calls. I booked more appointments. I told more stories. And I went in and got more money. 